just so you know, Dozer sits in the back. However, Dozer got into the truck with a bee that was in the back, and I think the bee stung him in the back. Dozer won't go into the back anymore. He's sitting here. He never sits here. He hates it up in the front. But look at him, he keeps looking for the bee. He's looking for it. It's gone. I threw it out the window, but he doesn't know that. Yeah, isn't life like that? Um, that was Dozer yesterday. Now, Dozer today, as you can see, is lying there in the back seat. He's good. Um, but, oh my goodness, he was freaking out. He was on my lap, um, and he's not a lap dog, and almost knocked us off the road because he's trying to jump out the window. I'm like, dude, like, chill out. Knock the bee off. Um, he still wouldn't go in the back seat. Finally, he look back and he says well I hate the front seat more than I hate I'm scared of the back seat so jump back there and he's been good ever since I was thinking about um how many times God steps in in our life and he like we run to God and we're scared because something's traumatized us or um scared us and God says you know I give you my peace you know I got this covered I'm, I'm working it out and he and then we look back and we say, this is what God has done. And so we look back and we see this is what God has done. And yet we don't move forward. We hold on to that fear because we're afraid of it happening again. We're afraid of things we can't control. And God says, I want to take you somewhere. And it's like, well, the last time I was there, it hurt. And I, I don't want to do that again. And God says, no, God, I dealt with that. I've, we're, we've moved on. And God, we're like, no, 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 I'm not, not, we're not ready to go. And we miss out on so much that God has for us because we're so stuck in what we're afraid of having to go through again. Um, trust was an issue for me. Um, and God showed me in, in a variety of ways that it was a lot better to trust and be hurt by what somebody did than not trust and continually hurt by not trusting. Um, not believing and he constantly brings me back to a place where I did need to trust again. And even though I still get burned, God says, you know, are you going to be, um, are you going to give people the benefit of the doubt? Are you going to give people the benefit of the doubt? And, or are you going to judge them before you even get a chance? And I, I heard a comedian that was talking about being called for jury duty. And he, he said it was, it was a bad idea. And he goes, cause I say things that, um, that are probably ill-advised and then I stick to it. And so it was a guy for murder. And when they, he was being interviewed, they said, so what do you think? I said, I think he did it. And he goes, you haven't seen any evidence. He goes, yeah, but he's tattoos on his face. I think he did it. And it was, he made this judgment call. Now, I mean, it was a murder case where it was pretty open and shut. But a lot of times we look at people and we look at things and we say, nope, that reminds me of a past pain. That reminds me of a past experience. That reminds me of something. And we don't give people the benefit of the doubt. We don't allow people to change. We don't allow people to grow. We don't allow people to, and then we don't trust. And then we miss out because God says, I've got so much for you, but you need to trust me. And it's like, well, God, trusting you means I might get hurt. He goes, yeah, maybe. But do you trust me enough to be hurt? Do you trust me enough to be obedient even though it's going to be painful, even though it's going to be a struggle, even though you know going in that there's a bee back in the seat? And so you're going to go back? And God, and you know, when we do, we find that God's right there with us. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you are right there with me. He said, I'm going to make my bed in hell. You are right there with me. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. In him we live and move and have our being. God wants us to know his presence. And a lot of times it's in those times that we need to reach out and say, God, I need your help. Anyways, hope that's been an encouragement to you. God bless.